Hi, John Valvano here. And in this video, we're going to talk about expressions. Now, expressions uh, are composed of, of values and operators. Now, some of the components of an expression are obvious, like a number. Okay, so when you see a number in C, it's going to evaluate to its to its number. Okay, so a one, a one, a one, etc. Easy. Anyway. Now, if we have a variable or a I/O register um, on the right side of an equal sign, okay, this is the um, assignment expression. And so, if we have a variable on the right side of an, uh, an assignment operator, that variable is replaced with its value. So uh, this is an I.O. port, which is obviously the input of port B. And so when it runs, this token here is replaced with the 32-bit contents of the port B input register. Okay, so on the right side, we have variables and constants. Now we're going to combine them with operators. And now you'll see from the, you know, from the book, there's a lot of operators. This is a logical operator, which is a bitwise AND. And so it'll take this 32-bit number and that 32-bit number and bit by bit, 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 31 to thir bit 31 to bit 31, and logically and those two operations together. This is a binary operator because it takes two values and is, uh, is replaced by the corresponding result of that operation. Okay, um, here's another operator, another logical operator, which is the exclusive OR. And again, it's going to take the contents of the global variable input and replace it with the current value of it. Uh, that's a one, and again, just like and, it's going to exclusive or all 32 bits one at a time, bit zero to bit zero. Uh, here's a shift operator, uh, which is another binary operator. On this side of the shift will be a value, and on that is how many bits right, okay, that's a right shift pointing Okay, that's a left shift uh, pointing off to the left, okay? Uh, now, in an assignment operator, we're going to typically have exactly one variable name uh, on the left-hand side of the assignment. So this thing is going to evaluate to a number and store it in there. This will evaluate to a number, store it in there, and this will evaluate to a number. Now, that's not a variable. That's an I.O. port register. And so when we uh, make an assignment into an IO port register, this value is written to that register. That's not a memory. That's not a, that's not RAM or ROM. That's a port register. All right, let me show you what it looks like uh, on the board. Okay, I have the switch connected to, um, uh, to PB0, and I have the LED connected to PB1. And uh, just like uh, in the previous video, if I if I double click a variable, uh, a global variable, and I can add it to the watch window. So I'm going to add the input. I'm going to add the output. Again, uh, the the ability to debug has to do with controlling what happens and observing the result. Okay, so an expression window is some place we can observe the result. And so you can see this global variable is permanently allocated into RAM, and this other one is right, right below it in RAM. Okay, so I'm going to do a step over this time, and so that way I don't have to step through the 20 instructions of the init. I can execute the entire instruction, the entire subroutine. Okay, so this is the one I want to show you. Okay. And I don't have the switch pressed. And so when I execute this line, uh, it's going to read a zero from the input port and it with a one still get zero and store it back into the, uh, into the variable here. So that guy's still there. Okay. Now this operation is going to take the input, flip bit zero, move it over to bit one. And so you'll see this guy change right there on the, uh, when it executes. Okay, right there you see uh, now that is a two, 
So the LED is not on yet because I have to actually execute the line here that does the output. All right. Uh, this time I'll push the switch. All right. You see, I stepped over. Now the switch is pressed. Okay. And now the input you can see is a 1. And then when it flips the bit back to a 0 again, uh, I mean, it flipped the bit to a 0, shift it over into bit 1. And now when I uh, output, the LED will go off. All right. So an expression uh, is what we build in our software to take values, to take data, and operate on that data to get other data. Okay, in this case, I read from the input, I flip bit, uh, I flip the input bit, shift it over to the output bit, and output. Okay, uh, have fun.